What up, YouTube? Mandy Hops. I uh, feel worse than I look, which is pretty bad <laughs> right now. Um. So, yes, let's speak on this because I know everybody's got an opinion on it. I had tunnel guy over yesterday. People ask why. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> I'm broke and I had no food and he just got his food stamp card. And he called me and asked me if I needed anything. I showed the fuck did need some shit. He's nice. He got me uh, a bunch of stuff. Pretty much let me pick out whatever I want. And I mean, he's got to eat off that too. He's got to live. Although, no shade him personally. But... I feel like it's only fucking derelicts. Uh, not him. I'm just saying, like, in general, they are able to get food stamp cards in, in the state of Nevada. Not people that really need it. Not people that legitimately work uh, on the table, opposed to under the table. Like, uh, like, every single person I know that has food stamps out here sells them. And they're all either on drugs or something. Just because I know, because I worked at Dottie's and... <laughs> Uh, they, they would try to sell you stuff every day <laughs> in my casino, everybody, on their food stamp card. I don't even think they used it, like, for themselves. I could have really used it. <laughs> that being said, I start my first day of work tomorrow. Some of you have been worried. I'll be honest with you. I've been getting white girl wasted even for Mandy Hops on top of that. But I don't even remember my videos yesterday. And one said copyright strike. So I didn't even have a chance to watch it. I just erased it right away. So I didn't get in trouble. But like, I barbecued and my fucking place is a shit show. Ideally, I had thought my day before work, everything would be perfect. I'd lay out my clothes. Da -da. No, uh, my place is a shit show. I feel like shit. I have like a month old leg injury. Like where my like leg... Meets my hip. We won't get into that, you know. Or, like, my hip meets my vag area on my leg. You know what I'm saying. It's like a torn muscle or something. Dude, all night I couldn't sleep. I got to be up at 4.30 a.m. I'm feeling sick and having some sick symptoms. We won't get into that. I'm going to go to work. I'm, it just sucks to have to go to your first day of work like that. I'm going to make it. One thing I'm really happy about is making money because <laughs> I'm broke broke but two um making friends I don't have any friends here and I think that's why I'm such a disaster you know because I was always on call I can never go out and really do anything like and then I was fired so I really couldn't go out and do anything because that takes money you know and uh, I pretty much had to use my money on all my bills and then so now I'm gonna fucking Get some money back, dude. My ex loaned me $1,500, which will literally be gone by next week just because of my bills. My just my sheer bill, bills, bill, bills. But he's being real nice about it. Well, no, he's not. He, he's busted my fucking balls. But he's being nice enough to loan me the money. Uh, and he's like, I don't want it back in little Trump payments. Just wait till you have it all. And I was like, well, it might be a while then. He knows I'll pay him back. Like, Dude, I trust that dude more than anybody in the whole world. I can't even trust myself. <laughs> I trust him. And and I, he's good people. And uh, I always think, you know. So that, that was my ex, Mikey, that loaned me the money. Here's what else is weird. I called breakfast guy crying. Tell him I wanted to come home. And I do. And breakfast guy might... Really be the only dude I could go home to. Who lives with his mom, by the way? He's like 40-something. But, you know, it's rough when you're just getting out of prison, I guess. <sighs> um, I've known Breakfast Guy since 8th grade, guys. He was my brother, Bo. God rest his soul. His stepbrother. His bigger stepbrother. Well, like not bigger in size, but older. <laughs> and he... It, it, this sounds kind of creepy, but he's the closest thing I have to a brother... And the closest thing I have to a boyfriend. He was a little bit of both. And a non, like, I don't know how to say that without sounding creepy, but you guys know what I mean. So he said he was going to talk to his mom about it. And uh, he yelled at me about Tunnel Guy. 
He said, ah, that dude will be back in two days. He gets whatever he wants. Just hang out for a couple days. Like, that dude will be back. No, he won't. He, he was back. And I'm pretty sure he saw the video. So I missed a duo call last night. I didn't even hear the duo call, dude. I didn't even hear it. And, uh, I'm not quite sure how this conversation is going to go <laughs> when I talk to him. I mean, he's not tripping. He's, he's probably with a broad right now, you know? He's probably with a couple broads today. It's Sunday. When I do go back, I'm doing Route 66. One, that's safer. Two, I've never seen a lot of those places. I would like to do some shake up the carpet bagger type videos. I would. I love that kind of shit. I, I think I, me and Jacob the Carpetbagger united, dude, as a YouTube team, I think we'd crush it. Because you kind of need, you know, you kind of need somebody to offset you. But together, we would be amazing. I mean, this channel's really good with, uh, without me, that's for sure. I'm just saying, I'm obsessed with it lately. I don't know why. Because it's been a lot of St. Louis videos. That's why. Um, okay, so let's wrap this up, guys. I start, I get up at 4.30 a.m. I start my new job tomorrow, selling the cannabis. I'm looking forward to it. I think I've been practicing my whole life, pretty much. Um, and I, it'll help with the drinking, dude. I, I gained a size. As far as I only gained one size while I was off for six months, because all I did was drink all day, every day. So, uh, yeah, I should be losing some weight soon that's for sure meeting some friends by the way dude my barbecue shit was off the chain i made the best steaks ever dude key to making best steaks ever if you want to know oh, a couple barbecue tips real quick if not you can just shut this off i'll catch y'all later because that's what i'm talking about um like share subscribe <laughs> but no dude i pounded the steaks out with my hands like pounded the fuck out of them that helps tenderize them and then i soaked them in honey and then I have my own dry rub, which is like um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, fucking uh, brown sugar, parsley, paprika, smoked paprika. Rubbed them down in the dry rub. Honey, Worcestershire, fresh garlic. Let it marinate. Those are the best steaks I ever had. And I made scalloped potatoes which I normally only make in the oven for the first time on the grill. I threw them right on the grill. I had potatoes two ways, baked potatoes and uh, with the works. Tunnel guy got me the works. We had the chives. We had the sour cream. We are eating like Nevada State paid for it, and they did. Yeah. Um. So, and I appreciate the groceries, Tunnel guy, when you see this. All right, you guys, I love you. And uh, I'll catch up with you after my first day at work. And don't worry about me. I'm okay. I know y'all have been a little concerned. Um. I'll be okay. I'm tough. Love you guys.